Are you looking for the best coffee maker? In this video, we will break down the top coffee makers on the market. Before we get started with our video detailing the best coffee maker, we have included links in the description for each product mentioned, so make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting off at number 1, we have the Nespresso Virtuo Plus. Looking to add a pod machine to your life, the Nespresso Virtuo Plus is convenient and easy to use, creating great tasting coffee of all types and sizes. If grinding beans and sourcing single origin coffee aren't your jam, pods are likely a better fit. Think of it as the Capsule Coffee Machine 2.0. Nespresso's Virtuo Recyclable Pods come with a built-in barcode, which the machine reads in order to tailor its blending technique, with the pods spinning up to 7,000 times in a minute to create some impressively rich crema. The Virtuo Plus also has a movable water tank, surprisingly useful if you're finding somewhere to house this in an office or in your flat. And of all the machines we tried, it was the most compact and unintrusive. If you're short on space, the Virtual Plus is worth taking into consideration. We tested this coffee maker for a month, and the centrifusion extraction technique worked every time, without fail. You could probably use this machine with your sleep mask still on. The Virtual Machine will only read Nespresso pods though, meaning no last minute trips to refresh your caffeine supplies. And they're not cheap either. At around 80 cents per pod, a morning espresso habit could soon add up. There's also a little scope for adding milk, although if it is a range of coffee flavors and not microfoam you're into, you've struck gold. At number 2, we have the Sage SES 990 BSS. If you're ready to spend big on an all-star coffee machine, you may want to consider the Sage Oracle Touch. From automatic microfoam and coffee grinding to perfect coffee doses and expert tamping, this machine does almost everything, and for its price, it needs to. But if you've always fancied yourself as a would-be barista, or just like the idea of raising your latte art game, you'll be hard-pressed to find a flaw. This coffee maker is semi-automatic, grinding and tamping by itself, well, it leaves the coffee strength and milk texture down to you. The Oracle Touch will fill your kitchen with that unmistakable coffee aroma of fresh ground coffee, but there's also a bit of a mess from coffee grounds too, so if you need a tidier approach, consider pods instead. Using separate boilers for milk and coffee, the Oracle Touch produces enough steam pressure to create that ever-elusive microfoam. Digital thermometers cut off the steam to stop the milk from scalding, so all you have to do is pour it. Don't consider squeezing this machine in between appliances though. With the hopper on top, it's hard to fit the Oracle Touch onto kitchen top surfaces if they're shelving above, so properly measure out where it could fit if you're consider purchasing, or you're going to have a lot of kitchen to rearrange. At number 3, we have the Melita Cafeo CI Bean to Cup. What do we have here? A bean to cup coffee machine with minimal fuss and great taste? In a nutshell, yes. The Melita Cafeo might be half the price of the Sage's Oracle Touch, but we found customizable settings give you the best of both worlds, and cafe-worthy creations every time. The Melita is fully automatic, but designed to allow for plenty of customization. It'll take you under 5 minutes to program in a few different coffee preferences, and once that's sorted, this machine is incredibly easy to use, even first thing in the morning. Using a simple coffee chamber system, it's possible to switch between two types of beans. It also excels in the taste steaks, producing rich and aromatic espresso, and an excellent crema. We'd think it actually surpasses the Oracle Touch for milk-based coffees. Cappuccinos are finished with a top of frothy, creamy milk. And when it comes to lattes, milk froth and milk are added to the cup before espresso, so the coffee settles between the two. In a coffee-loving home or workplace, the Melita is a good choice for a crowd. After a month with the Melita, we argue that it's a robust bean-to-cup coffee maker for someone who needs a quality caffeine fix with minimal fuss. At number 4, we have the Wakako Nanopresso. The Wakako Nanospresso is a pocket-sized coffee machine with the ability to brew hand-pumped espresso. So whether you're not taken in by a blimp-sized domestic espresso machine, or simply on the go so much that home means more than one place, the Nanopresso is a surprisingly worthy contender. There's no battery or charging, it's all done by creating up to 18 bars of pressure through hand-pumping, and the end result is comparable to what you'd be served in a cafe. Lighter, smaller, easier to pump, and yet twice as powerful as its mini-presso predecessor, the Nanopresso comes with a built-in espresso cup and lightweight case that's molded perfectly to house the device. If you've never used an outdoor espresso maker before, it takes a bit of time to work out what's going on, especially when slotting it all back in together. But it gets much easier after the first few uses. This is definitely not a machine to try for the first time at 7am on a weekday morning, but it's great for taking high-quality espresso with you no matter where you go. In look, price, and experience, the Nanopresso couldn't be further than the Sage, and yet the taste is almost on par. It is more of a faff, as it does involve boiling water and finding a flat spot if you're outside, but the end result is seriously impressive. And for our final pick at number 5, we have the Gaggia Grand Deluxe. After weeks of trying out the Sage, Nespresso Virtuo, and Melita, Gaggia's Grand Deluxe has a tough act to follow. 
No, it doesn't create impeccable microphone by itself, or remember your name and chosen latte strength at the flick of a button. But when we'd gotten to know its old school ways, it felt like finding a comfortable middle ground for coffee and owner. Some elements do feel a little cheaper than we expected from Agagia. The machine is plastic bodied with a metal front, and you'll find the espresso filter holder is also plastic. Day after day, we miss the weight of a heftier coffee maker, but it's also incredibly compact, fitting in alongside everything else in your kitchen. And although it doesn't have much height to fill buckets of coffee up, there's no denying the chic design credentials of an Italian classic. Aside from design, the Gaggia Grand Deluxe is a traditional pump espresso machine with a pressurized filter holder. The machine comes with filters for coffee grounds, or you can use ESE espresso pods, and it does produce a great crema-topped espresso. The steamer wand will give you some great foamed milk. There's no temperature gauge to tell you when to stop steaming, which we found tricky after relying on the inside of the Oracle Touch. But again, the Gaggia feels a bit like it's going back to basics. Considering it'll cost you less than 10% of the price of the Oracle Touch, learning the traditional espresso method may be right up your street if you're also on a budget. So that sums up our top coffee makers. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.